you doing? Just, um, heading off. Unless you, uh, want to ask me to stay for breakfast. Thought not. Don't start. And don't bother getting dressed. Oh, flipping heck. Sorry. How did you get in? Liz gave me a key. Oh. She's on the phone from Spain now. Where's Steve? <sighs> Hi, Liz. You're right. Yeah, Steve's still asleep. I'll, uh, I'll get him to call you back in a bit. Is that all right? OK, hang on. She knows it's the funeral today. Sounds a bit shaky. Well, she's not going to get more than a grunt out of Steve till he's had his broom. You talk to her. Blimey. It does two espressos at once, and it's got a frothy milk thing and all. I think this must be it here. Is Ryan now? If I asked him, he'd only say no, and he'd be wrong. Mm. Everywhere's got a machine nowadays. We're losing business because we can't do a simple cappuccino. It's just daft. Yeah, you're right. And you can't complain about the cost because I got it free from the company as long as we agree to buy their coffee. I'll call them later, prepare the ground. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Morning. 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 Is that all right? If Jordan comes over for a bit... Does that lad not work? It does. It's just between jobs. OK, then, but remember, you're down here on shift after lunch. OK, boss. A coffee machine. About time. My thoughts, exactly. <laughs> Would you like a cappuccino? Espresso, please. Certain mop coming right up. Right. Mm? And single espresso. Single espresso. Oh, don't tell me they've given me a dud. you got to put the coffee in first. And the water. Well, they should make that clearer, shouldn't they? What do you think to a surprise pamper party for Carla? Oh, she's already having a hen do. A select oh. gathering just for family. A, a pre-hen. Oh. Hen. Oh. Isn't that a chick? Oh. A chick do, yeah. Facial's oh. a bit of bubbly. So, Carla, don't you think? Why is he always crying? Because he's a baby, that's what they do. Let me have him for a bit. I'll take him to the annex. We can listen to Popmaster oh, together. That's OK, thank you, Mum. I think I'm just going to take him for a little walk. It's probably gay out there. Well, he likes the breeze. Don't you, sweetheart? Come on. How on earth have you managed that? No idea. When did you last wear him? Tina's funeral. Lucky suit, then. Uh, Mum, shouldn't you be getting dressed? I'm not going. What? Jason doesn't want me there. You heard him. Oh, Mum, you didn't mean it. Did you? I did. Jace? Your mum's got every right to say goodbye. To a man that she never cared about. I did care about him. I don't sleep with people I don't care about. Please. What? You're pathetic. Who have you slept with? Um, Sean, shouldn't he be uh, mending those trousers? <clears throat> you used that girl like a comfort blanket. Maybe I needed one. Girl? Don't go taking your grief out on other people. I'll take my grief out on whoever deserves it. All right, kids. What's happening? Still fighting? She's not coming. Jason, listen, oh, Pat, this is family business, yeah? Do you know, I've been on it now to get one of these for years. I mean, who doesn't want frothy coffee these days? Exactly. Very good of him to wait till Nick sold the bistro, though. I mean, it's very thoughtful. <laughs> well, I doubt we'll be doing olive chia batter and salty crab cakes, girl. Not unless Rise had a complete personality transplant. Uh, I must get him to sort some nibbles for Carla's do. Who, oh, Rye? No, Nick. Oh, I'm doing a surprise pamper party. Oh. You know, home spa stuff, nibbles, bubbly, just a little trick thing before the hen do. Sounds fab. 
Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry, um, it's for family only. Oh, it's OK, I don't expect any. No, I mean, I know Roy is almost family, but, uh, well, uh, I've got to think of numbers. Gail, it's fine, I don't want to come. Mm. What? Do you think she'd hate it? No. Uh, tell me honestly. Bubbly and pampering, this is Carla we're talking about. Uh, anyway, come on, drink up. I want to know what it's like. My ex said he bought us a machine like this once, it were ace. And so the bloke that owned it came and brought the door down, wanting it back. Nick's machine had four espresso buttons and he could press all four at once. No wonder Carla's marrying him. It, do you have any chocolate sprinkles? Sprinkles. It, it, proper cappuccinos have them. Have some Ovaltine upstairs. I could sprinkle that on. Oh, no, no. How about you can have it for half price, how's that? No, um, it's, um... It's, it's not the same. I th I'll go to next. Sorry. I offer what Carla does hate it. She'll end up to Devs and get some drinking chocolate. Genius. <laughs> Morning, Cathy. Hiya, Jordan. Go on up. I uh, couldn't trouble you for... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Don't say cappuccino. We've no sprinkles. Just a black coffee, then? Okie doke. Well? Hey, and the cafe. Is that all right if we have a that back and squash what like it's at the back? Here you go. Actually, don't worry about the coffee. I'm trying to cut down on the caffeine. Okay. And we built this massive sandcastle. It's more like a sand village. It had its own streets and towers and houses. Oh, it sounds brilliant. So when are you back? Yeah. Uh, when are you coming back? I might stay out a bit longer. Oh. It's just so nice to spend a bit of time with Joseph. I feel like I've missed so much with him. Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm. So how's your week been? Um, same old. Well, something must have happened. Um. Oh, I watched a really good program on trees, you know. Just a minute, Joe. Uh, you can go. It's all right. Uh, we're going fishing with one of Katie's mates. He's got a speedboat. Oh, well, go catch some speedy fish. Yeah, I will do. I love you. And we'll speak after tea, yeah? What? Uh, never mind. Sorry. All right. What are you doing anyway? I've got to iron these shirts before I get back to school. I'm meeting Caitlin straight after. Oh, well, how many are you going to wear? Oh, I can't decide which one or which jeans. All right, come on. I'll iron, you try on. We'll see which combo works best. That's not bad, even though I say so myself. What are you doing? I changed my mind. I don't want to say anything. Chase, you had your heart set on it. It sounds so stupid. Jason, your mum, really upset. So? Why don't you just let her go? Cos I don't want her there. So you can't think this is right. I just want my brother to get through today as best he can. OK, well, the corsage is here, so... Don't you mean cortege? They're not the same. Just trying to lighten the mood. Should we get going? Yeah, look, uh, we'll see you out there, yeah? Fine. <clears throat> you ready? Excuse me, whose funeral is that? It's Tony, Jason Grimshaw's dad. Oh. Right, uh, better get going, yeah?
Jace. What's she you doing? Please, love. No. Mum. Just leave it, yeah? On the men. When did we get that? Just today. I was going to ring you later. How comes you back anyway? Well, I want to see you. Oh, are you all romantic? I just go upstairs and unpack. Well, actually, um, Alex has got a pal over. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, how's he settling it? Very well, very well. Why don't we give them a while and we can uh, have a brew down here? Why's that picture moved? Just thought it looked better then. What do you think? Hmm? Lee, where have you been? I need cash. Why haven't you returned my calls? Where are you staying? Nowhere. That's why I'm rocking this particular stylish it, look. What, what happened to the hostel? It didn't work out. Look, have you got any cash or not? What for? A bed for the night or two. I swear. Just come back in an hour, we'll talk then. Just give me some cash and I'll leave you be. Or do you want me to stay and greet the dearly departed? It's all I've got. Family could follow behind the couple. Here. Sorry? It goes in your hair. It's like this. Callum used to nick them for me from boots. It must have come out when we was... Um... Look, I'd like to apologise for my son's behaviour. Why? He was good. You know what I mean. It's fine. Don't expect anything else. Well, he should do. You're an attractive girl. You're sparky, funny. Yeah, I'm not exactly pretty. I used to think like you. I'd take any man who was interested. It was like that with Tony. He was younger, good-looking. I was so grateful I let him treat me like dirt. Soon caught him snogging someone else. Split up. Had Jason, took him back. Same thing happened. Should never have let him back into my life. You loved him? Suppose I did. I love Callum. I knew he'd never look twice at me, but I still loved him. You should be at the funeral. I can't, love. You deserve to say goodbye as much as Jason. Everyone deserves to say goodbye to the people they love. Are you um, sure about this shirt? Yep, yeah, you look hot. Really? Mm. And like you made an effort. Not too much of an effort, though, because then I won't look hot. No, 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 the balance is just right. Oh, hey, up, oh, the target's in target. Well, that's not right, that, is it? I hope everything's OK. <laughs> that's a good sign. Yeah. All right, I, I've got to go. 
Hey. Hey. <laughs> I've uh, booked a table at the bistro. Afternoon special. Cool. Whatever. Apparently they do a really good beef cappuccino. I've gone veggie. When? You didn't say. Must have forgot. I'm sure they do other stuff. Well, have fun, you two little birds. Hey, what are you doing sat out here? Eating a pasta. It's freezing. Go and get your swimming stuff, love. Can I get some sweets first? No, there's not time. Go on. You can't avoid being in the house forever. Last time we spend in that place about. It's your home. Do you know he stops crying? Every time we come out of the house. It's like he can sense Callum's presence. Now you're talking rubbish. Look at him. Sarah, you have got to stop this now. That place, it's it's a house with rooms where we live. It's a graveyard. Harry knows it. Tony was a character. He was a man with a big presence, strong feelings. Someone who made an impact on all those around him. It would be wrong of me to say that he'd led a sinless life. He'd admit, I'm sure, that he'd made mistakes. He was, in many ways, a restless soul. But a good one, I believe. And I hope now, in God's hands, he finds the peace that he never found here on Earth. Amen. What are you doing? The one great thing Tony did achieve about. in his life was to father his wonderful son, Jason, whom no one can deny he loved very deeply. They set up a business together. He was very much invested in his son's future. And although God took Tony early and unexpectedly from this world, his son and all of you that loved him still have their memories and those will never die. <laughs> so let today not simply be a day of mourning, but a celebration of a life lived to the full. Jason, I believe you'd like to say a few words. <clears throat> Jason. it if you don't. Which is all right, some of them. Well, uh, uh, health's improving, if that's what you mean. Well, that's good at least. <laughs> oh, sorry been on the go all day. It's proving very popular. Just give it a trial period, Troy, and if you don't like it in a month, then we'll get rid of deal. Uh, look, Roy, um, it's not that I'm not pleased to see you, because of course I am, but it's just that considering that you wanted to surprise me, you've been very quiet. Well, it, it, it wasn't meant as a surprise in the romantic sense. Oh, I see. Oh, no, I, I merely wanted to be with you today. You've been very cryptic. Well, I, I, apologies, sir. Um, today is... was. What's going on up there? <laughs> One minute. I think she fancies me. <laughs> well, I do. I've just been what, going out with them for nearly four years. <laughs> I told you not to spill that. <laughs> Calm down, Mother dear. How are you a lot? How did you get in here? So, uh... What have you done? Oops. Get out! Out! Out of my house! Now! Out! Oh, okay. Out! Out! Sorry, Roy. Oh, shut up! Roy! Out! It's true. My daddy would never have seen. Probably laughed to be lying here underneath a big cross. No 
offence. But he was still my dad. And although he wasn't there very much when I was a kid, recently he came back into my life and I realised how much he did love me. All he ever wanted to do was make up for the past. Set up the yard for me. Gave our kid a job. Tried to help me and Eva. But everyone was suspicious of him. They didn't trust him. But he proved them all wrong. Well, most of them anyway. He died too soon. Too suddenly. And I never got a chance to say good. Get out. And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs> 